So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Coz AI. This is a next generation frontier platform that allows you to create an AI bot in the way that you want to. This is something that is great for beginners. And if you're someone who's advanced in LLMs, you can actually use this to do a lot of custom workflows that are really, really cool. So without further talking about how this actually works, let's get into a few quick demos so you guys can really understand why this is so. So when you first log in to Coz or when you sign up, you can see that this is the screen you're going to be printed, presented with. One of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, of course, create your bot. So one of the things that I could do is I could call this a recipe bookmaker. Then of course, Course, I could then describe how this thing is going to work. So I could say this bot makes you healthy recipes. So if I wanted to just do something a bit more specific, what I could do is I could do keto diet because that is a specific type, or I could say lean muscle mass recipe maker on a kind of budget. But this is just a very, very basic tutorial. So of course, what I'm going to do is I'm then going to click confirm. What I also could do is I also could use AI, which is DALI 3, to generate a profile picture. As long as you click that button, and that's why this is so cool, quick, and easy to do, it's going to generate a profile picture, and then we're going to click confirm. And of course, you can see recipe book maker. We can just use that, and then we can simply click confirm. You could also just upload your own if you did want to, but here we are. Now the bot is created. Now what we can see here is that we can also configure the model. Currently, you have access to GPT-4 Turbo, 128K, GPT-4 8K, or GPT-3.5 if you want faster responses for that quicker, quicker scenario. Now you can see right here as well, you can edit the temperature and the response max length. If you want something that is going to enable the maximum amount of tokens, just make sure to leave these as they are, as I would. Now things might seem a little bit confusing here, but trust me, this is really, really easy. The easiest part about this is just making the persona and the prompt. So one of the things that I did when I actually first used this was I actually wrote into a prompt and I thought this was going to take quite some time, but it actually didn't. You see, let's say, for example, I'm going to say this. You are an AI system that finds recipes specific for the keto diet. You recommend healthy foods to eat all within a decent budget and cheap so you can see right here we've got it some very very basic guidelines now this doesn't sound that good and you might be thinking look i don't want to make this kind of prompt what do i do all you actually do is you click auto optimize so if we click auto optimize you can see right here that it actually writes your entire prompt for you so you can then see right here that it's able to write the entire thing and it actually adds some constraints it says only suggest recipes and foods that are compatible with a keto diet stick to the user individual preferences and budget expenditure make sure all meals are balanced and healthy yada 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 and you can see it adds a bunch of other stuff now we can click there and we can click use and then within a couple of seconds we got an absolutely great one now here's where other things come into you know effect that you can really really utilize so right here we can go into plugins and this is where things get crazy so if we go into plugins we can see that they actually have a wide wide range of plugins and one of the things that you might want to use is you might want to use google web search now if you don't know what google is i'd be very very surprised but of course as you know google search is of course just what you want to use if you want to browse a web for certain recipes so we click add and then we x out and then we see that this is of course added you can actually add multiple different plugins for whatever you know kind of thing you are building you can see that there's youtube and of course if you want your bot to be able to browse youtube and find a recipe that you want to cook that is something that you could do and as you can see there are many many different things that you can go ahead and find now this is really cool if we x out of this the next thing that you're going to want to take advantage of is of course the knowledge so right here we can see knowledge and then we can click this add button right here so right now our bot doesn't have any knowledge whatsoever but we can easily change this so we can click create knowledge so now so here's where we can add some knowledge and for example we can add our own custom recipe book so we can put recipe book and then we can put a book for recipes keto from uh let's just say dr octopus i know you might be thinking why dr octopus i just put from a specific doctor so that i can know exactly what it is so we can see right here recipe books then of course this is where we can add our unit so we can add a local document we can add online data we can import from notion or we can import from google documents so we can actually import from something online so we can go ahead find a web page add a url and then it's going to be able to reference that web page constantly so this is something that's really really cool and that is something that is very very effective if you want to have a 
utilize certain things. And if we come back to the tab, we can see this bot isn't just set up just yet. Now, whilst you're making this bot, you can actually set it up. And for those of you who do think this is something that's already done with custom GPTs, I'm gonna show you later on in the video why this is actually pretty cool because of the integrations that this app has, it's really, really effective. So for example, you can talk to this right now, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. What you do wanna do is you also do wanna do the open dialogue. So I would say the open dialogue just auto generate it because it does make things a little bit easier, but you can see right there, it's able to generate it. And it's also able to generate questions really, really quickly. So now what we have here is we also have some additional things. What we can do is we're gonna publish this and then I'm gonna show you some other things that you can do with this that make this really, really cool. Now, this is what I like so much about the software. You can actually publish this to different you know, applications. So if you don't wanna come back to the website and you don't actually wanna continue using this, what you can do is you can configure it within different websites in order to use it, okay? And why this is so effective is because if your entire workflow is in Slack, you can configure a custom bot with custom data and then of course add this into your Slack and then you can boost your entire workspace just very, very quickly. So you won't have to tell your team to go ahead and use this. In addition, you could also have it on Instagram, responding to DMs, messaging people if you want, if you know if you run a business. In addition, in addition, what you can also do is you can also use it on Discord. You can also use it on Telegram. So if you're someone that needs certain information from a certain bot on a certain specific information in a workflow, rather than coming back to this tab, you could just have it on Discord. Maybe you're, you're creative. Maybe you're using Midjourney. You could just simply con configure this on Discord and have it there. Maybe you're someone who's working within certain group chats. You can have this bot auto pick and auto do certain kind of things. And then of course, configure it and ensure that it's set up with Telegram. And that's something that's really, really effective and something that I don't see on a lot of these other things okay now of course when you're doing this you can just have a private configuration or you can submit this to the bot store where you can completely have this so we can see this is version 1.0 obviously you do have to configure this before you publish it but i do find that this integration software is very very effective now another thing that i find really really cool about this and i haven't really seen this in anything else like everything like i've looked at a lot of things but i didn't see this was the ability to schedule tasks so you can see right here that this is something that is really effective if you want the bots to send you something at eight o'clock every single morning and i think this is something that is really, really effective because it allows you to constantly be updated with certain things and certain messages. Right here, you can see that you are able to do this with any time zone. So you can see right here, you can select which, whichever time zone you're in. I'm going to select the one that's, of course, that's the most relevant to me. It's already on London. And then, of course, we could go ahead and trigger it every day. We can trigger it every month or we could have a triggered interval. So it could be the second of every hour. We could do something really like that. And we can see every day at 4 a.m. when I wake up, it's going to send me a new recipe on keto from a certain thing. Now, like I said, what you could also combine this with is you could also combine this with certain um, workflows, okay? And of course, with knowledge, you could have the bot referencing the URL every single day. So for example, if you wanted to have this stay updated with certain news and post you that news every single day, and like, for example, a Discord, maybe you want this in a Discord group, maybe you want this in your Telegram group, every day at 4 a.m., this AI bot is gonna go ahead and let's say you have a group about keto, it's gonna go ahead and get all, it's gonna go on that Link, it's going to reference that link. It's going to look for the most up to date ones and it's going to come back and message you the new things. And I found like this is really, really cool. And you can see I've created a task right here. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really cool. This is something that is very, very effective. Now, in addition, there's also two more features about this that I think are really, really cool. You can see we've got long term memory as well. So if you turn this on, essentially it's going to summarize some of your chats and it's going to be able to reference those once again if you have any kind of issue, which kind of just makes it more effective over the long term. So you can put long-term memory on, and then that is something that's gonna be very, very effective. Now, this is a file box where essentially users can um, save their files, but I wouldn't recommend turning that on just now. And it also does have auto-suggestion, which is on by default, which means that even if you don't have a question that you want to you know, think about, it can just do that for you. So I'm gonna ask it, what are some of the newest keto recipes on Google? Um, and I would do this, I'd probably do this for like AI news or maybe a specific type of machine learning or maybe just robotics. So I'm gonna ask what are some of the newest keto recipes on Google? And I'm just gonna ask it and we're gonna see what it's able to do. So it's using Google web search, as you can see right here. Then it says here are some of the newest keto recipes available. You can see right there, it, it manages to give me one. I'm not sure which link it's coming from. Um, we can see, in fact, we can see all of the links that it was able to browse so quickly through. Um, and you can see right here, it says read more here. So this is what I'm saying. This is a kind of bot that's really, really, really cool, okay? And this is something that is really, really effective. Now, 
again, like I said, once I've managed to talk through this as well, since long term memory is on, it's going to remember which of the ones I liked a lot and it's going to be able to let me use those again. And like I said as well, what's also really cool is I don't even have to be in this app. I could be in Telegram, I could be in Discord, I could be on, I think, WhatsApp, but I'm not sure about that one. So this is something that is cross platform very effective, something that you can engage with and something that seems to have a lot of customization. Now, in addition, there's also multi-agent mode, which is a little bit complex that I won't include in the video. I'll leave a link to the complete tutorial, but it is something that does allow you to have more customization in order to have a lot better workflows. Now, right here, you can see here are my bots. You can also see the workflows that I have. I haven't created a workflow just yet, but you can use this to create different workflows. You can also see I can create a plugin and I can also add a lot of different knowledge. Now, if you don't want to go ahead and create your own bot because that's too long, what you can do is you can go ahead and see what bots other people have created on the bot store. So here, right here, you can see there's Dr. AI, a virtual medical consultant providing health and information. We've got a research specialist. We've got casual legends, markdown magician. And I think this is something that is really, really effective if you want to use it for certain things. So at the end of the day, you can go ahead, you can look at the plugins and see what kind of bot you'd want to do based on the kind of output that you do want. And I do think that this is really, really effective considering the fact that you can have this across multiple different things. And in addition, unlike other bot systems, you can actually have custom workflows that allow you to do a lot more than you traditionally would.